All right, so I'm gonna move back to my mat. Welcome everyone. Um, we're gonna start standing today for this flow hour. So find a stand somewhere on your mat. Your feet are about hip width distance apart. And then bring the hands together in front of your heart. And you can close your eyes if that feels good at this point, or you can just have a soft gaze down onto the floor. And then here, bend the knees and sink down a little bit so you really feel your feet. Lift the toes, set the toes back down. And then from that grounding through the feet, keep the connection to the earth. Inhale, rise up, straighten the legs, rise through the crown of the head. Draw the shoulders back and down, standing tall. And you begin to find that connection to your breath. Don't change anything, just notice it. Where is it? Where is it coming in? Where is it leaving the body? How does it feel? Drawing all our senses inward here. My intention for this class tonight is to do a practice of unwinding, unwinding from the day, the week, unwinding our bodies from maybe sitting a whole lot and not moving so much. So we're going to move our bodies in all directions here. Unwinding our minds so the all the chatter in the mind can calm down we can return to focus on who we truly are on the inside and what truly holds value to us and is meaningful to us. And then here, take your hands and bring them to your ribs and have them so your thumb is towards the back and the fingers are spreading towards the front here. So we're touching into all parts of our lungs, the back part of the lungs, the side and the front. And your next inhale, just draw your awareness to breathing into the back of the lungs. And emptying out. And the next inhale, breathe into the side of the lungs. And out. And the front. And exhaling. And we do it all together, inhaling into the back, the side, the front. And then hold that breath in fullness here for a moment. Exhale out front, sides, back. You keep doing this. Follow your own rhythm of your breath. Inhale into the back, sides front and out the front, sides and back. And bring the hands back to the heart one more time here. You can flutter the eyes open at this point. And then we take the feet a little bit wider here. So the toes are facing forward, bring the hands down alongside the body and just sink into the knees here a little bit. Inhale, we circle the arms up and exhale, we sink into the knees, bring the arms down. Inhale, raising the arms over the sides, exhale, bringing them down front. A couple more times here. And then coming up, straightening the legs, reaching the arms up. And then here we bring the hands in front of us. Imagine we're holding like a ball here. And the elbows are out to the side. Shoulders are relaxed and down. And we just begin to turn from side to side here, holding our ball, holding that with us. You can also place the hands on the shoulders if that feels better. I have a better range of motion if I hold that 
imaginary ball out in front of me here. And you can let the arms swing along as you're twisting from side to side. And we find stillness. We take the feet even a little bit wider. I'm just turning around so you can see me from the side. So I take the feet to the outer edges of the mat. I drop into the knees, bring the fingertips down to the mat. So my upper body is about parallel to the mat. As I inhale, I curl the heart out and forward. Exhale, I round the spine, tuck the belly button, tuck the chin. Inhale, sending the heart forward. Exhale, curling here. And keep going here, out and in, keeping the knees bent, keeping the thighs about parallel to the floor here. Yeah, at some point, maybe we feel a little bit of our thighs We're waking up here, maybe a little bit of some fire in our thighs. Yeah, which is good. Just want to wake them up a little bit here. One more. And then straighten the legs and just fold over, hold on to opposite elbows here, swinging from side to side, maybe a little bit. And the hands come back down on the mat. And we take the feet out wide to the side, a little bit wider than the mat, bending the knees once more. And then here, we do the same. We inhale, we set the heart forward. We exhale, we round the spine, tucking belly button and chin. Curling out and in. Sitting low in the knees here. You may go slower or faster than I go. Just find your own breath flow here. And then here we can reach the arms forward and to the side and reaching back, bringing them to the side, forward, back down, and then straighten the legs, turn the toes facing forward one more time, holding on to opposite elbows here, swinging from side to side, maybe some letting the lips loose. <laughs> Of course, lips here, just letting out any tension we may be holding at this point. And then from here, we find downward facing dog. Easy downward facing dog. Just paddling the feet here a little bit, bending one leg at a time. And then find stillness in your downward facing dog. We inhale, lift the right leg high. And on the exhale, cross it behind the left, step the toe over to the side, and then we bend the knees deep, dip down. Inhale, lift up, reaching the leg high, and then a wide half circle out to the right side, toe down, bending the knees, dipping down. We keep going like this from side to side. Drawing some nice big half circles here from side to side, bending the knees. Just bringing some movement here into our body, into our joints. And then coming back to downward facing dog. Setting the hands a little bit more forward. Inhale, lift the right leg. On the exhale, cross it behind the left. So the right toes hook on the outside of the left ankle. Inhale. Come forward into plank, holding plank here, exhale. On the inhale, come back, lift the leg up straight. Once more, crossing behind, exhale, plank. Inhale, lifting. Hooking on the exhale, plank. And lifting one more time, placing the right foot down. Lower the knees down, keep the toes tucked here. We come back and sit on our heels here. Hands to the heels. We find an easy ustrasana camel. Sending the heart up, send the gaze up. 
the legs to shoulders. Gaze comes forward, the hands interlace, send the finger, the index fingers forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, let the arms pull down alongside the body, finding the low back. And here, inhaling, Ustrasana, sending the gaze up, sending the heart up. Bringing hands back down onto the mat, finding downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes half. On the exhale, a big half circle over to the right, toes down, bending the knees deeply. Inhale, raising back up, half circle over to the left, bending the knees, dipping down. Keep going big circles from side to side here. Dip down low, or you can stay a little higher, just checking in with how your body wants to unwind here. One more time to this side. And then sending the left leg high. Walking the hands a little more forward, exhale, cross it behind, hooking the toes to the outside of the right ankle, coming forward into plank. Inhaling back and leg high. Exhaling cross, coming forward to plank. Keep going here a couple more times like this. Find your own rhythm. Inhale, lifting the leg high, then setting it down. And then we drop the knees to the earth, toes stay tucked. Sending the hips to the heels, and we slide through onto our bellies, inhaling up to Cobra here. Yeah, we energetically draw the elbows and the hands back, and pull the chest and the heart through between the shoulders. One more inhale, exhale, lowering the forehead down, tuck the toes, coming up onto hands and knees, sending the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Soften the knees and we step forward here. Keep the knees bent. Inhale, rising up into Utkatasana chair pose. And here we turn the palms facing the floor. Inhale, exhale, draw the arms down and back. Draw the shoulder blades together. Inhaling up. And exhaling back. Inhale up. And on your next exhale, lift your heels. Come onto the tippy toes as you send the arms back. Heels come down as you inhale. As you exhale on the toes. Maybe sink a little bit deeper here. Draw your awareness to your shoulder blades here, maybe taking the awareness out of the legs. One more time. Then staying in chair, reaching the arms forward. The palms come to touch. And here we're sliding the left hand along the inside of that right arm across the chest, reaching it back behind, finding an easy twist. The hand comes to the left shoulder, slides across. Palms to touch, and we do the same thing on the other side. Right arm slides along the left, reaching back and to the front. Reaching the arms high, sending the gaze up, and then straighten the legs here. Hands to the heart. Close the eyes for a moment. Maybe place your hands on your heart. Feeling maybe your heart beats a little faster. And in the beginning, just checking in with these first movements, how things may, might have shifted at this point. Inhale, reach the arms up. Palms come to touch, we draw them down the midline into a forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, send the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold. Step back, high plank, and your choice of Lowering down through a full chaturanga or dipping the knees down, chest and chin. 
sliding through into cobra, maybe coming up a little bit higher. Exhaling, bringing the forehead down and rising up all the way down, rotating dog. Staying in downward facing dog for a breath or two. And lowering the knees down to the mat. And keep the toes tucked. We're in hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And on the inhale, we lift that left leg. Flex the foot, send the leg a little bit higher. And then here we begin to bend that leg and straighten it pretty fast. Bending and straightening. A bit of some butt kicks here. Bringing the leg a little bit higher. And we're feeling our glutes saying hello, good evening, I'm here. And straightening it out, bending, opening the hips here, drawing the heel to the back. And then from here, we're gonna flip so we're placing that left foot down behind, straightening the right leg out, reaching the left arm high. We open the left arm out to the side. We bring it around, hugging the right ribs. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, hugging the ribs. Then you can also come down here onto your hips if you don't want the intensity in your shoulders here. Otherwise, just stay up here. Keep going, opening through the shoulder joints and closing. And we come back around. Downward facing dog. Coming back down to table, setting up for the other side. Lifting the right leg, flexing the foot, send the leg a little higher, and then beginning the little donkey butt kicks here. Going a little faster, keep drawing that leg up a little bit higher. Breathing, maybe sending it up a little bit higher, and straightening it out, bending. Drawing that hip open and stepping the right foot down back behind, reaching the right arm up and over, extending the left leg, finding our flip here, or maybe our hips are down. Inhale, the right arm draws open to the side. On the exhale, reach around, hugging the left rib cage. Inhale, open and exhale, hugging. Open and close. And find some rhythm here. Find some ease here. And we're truly unwinding, opening and closing, and then bringing it back around, downward facing dog. And we bend the knees and just begin. Keep the hips low. Keep the knees bent. Just begin to walk your feet forward, coming onto fingertips and then walking back a little bit. Just keep walking forward and back low to the ground here. And then coming back up to downward facing dog. Shaking the head yet, shaking the head low, sending the knees down, just massaging your wrists a little bit whatever is on my screen, off my screen. All right. We'll keep the toes tucked, place the hands back down. And from here, coming back up to downward facing dog. So we inhale, we shift forward into plank. Drop the knees, hover them over the floor. Send the hips to the heels and up. A little bit of a fluid motion here. Hips back and up. Inhaling to plank. Dropping, covering the knees. Sending hips back and up. 
Inhale, plank. Lower the knees. Hips back. And up and around here. Coming forward into plank. And then your choice, you can skip vinyasa, you can go through vinyasa, and your chadraga, upward facing dog. We meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts high. The exhale, step it through between your hands. We lower the back knee down. Draw the left hip back, right hip forward. Rising up, but keeping the arms hanging down beside the body, palms facing forward. Opening through the chest here, draw the shoulders back, then the gaze up. The right hand comes down to the inside of that left foot. Reach the left arm high and then lift the back knee off the mat. Inhale. Draw that arm to the back. Draw it up. Around to the front, straighten that front leg and bring that left hand touching your right thigh. Parjavottanasana. Inhale, we sink back into the front knee, circling the arm up and back. Exhaling around to the front, straightening, touching in. And keep going here. You decide your pace. You want to go faster. You want to go really slow. One more time here. And then holding the arm reaching up, bending into the front knee. And you bring the hand up. And drop that back knee down, keep the toe tucked. Send the hips back, peeling the left toes off the mat and just hold it over the left leg here. Making sure that right hip isn't popping out to the side. Breathing. Reaching forward with the sternum and the crown of the head. Come back forward onto the fingertips, lifting that back knee. And then shifting the weight into the standing leg, lifting the back leg here behind us. And here we do the same thing. We bend the leg. We do some butt kicks here. Sending the leg a little bit higher. And sending it straight. Inhale, reaching it a little bit higher. On the exhale, bend the standing leg. Bring the right knee into the back of the left curl in. Inhale, straighten and lift the leg. Exhale, knee to knee, curling in. Inhale, straighten. Exhaling, curling in. Lifting and curling in. Straighten one more time and then crossing it behind the left leg. Toes touching down as in the beginning. Lifting, bending the knees. Lifting up, circling back around to the other side. Toes on the floor. Bending deeply in the knees. One more time each side. Lifting up and curling it around. And then send it back here. And we can stay here. Or balancing challenge. See if we can find our way up into warrior three from here. Be bubbly. Maybe for a moment. And bringing the hands down. The right foot meets the left. Forward fold here, and just interlace the hands behind the back and draw the arms up and overhead. <sighs> Inhale and exhale, side out. And inhaling, rising up all the way to standing, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down the midline, forward, forward. And lift halfway. Stepping back to high plank. 
the choice of going through a vinyasa or skipping it. Meeting in downward facing dog. This time on the inhale, the right leg reaches high and on the exhale, stepping through between the hands, lowering the left knee down, drawing the hips square, rising up, arms down, palms forward, sending the gaze up, shining the heart forward here. The left hand to the inside of that right foot, lifting. The back knee, reach the right arm high. Inhale, draw the hand back behind you. And on your next exhale, drawing the arm up and to the front, straightening the front leg. The right hand comes to touch the left knee or the left thigh. Bending in, inhaling, drawing the arm up and back. Exhaling to the front. Partial Tanasana. Just go back and forth here a few times. Take your time where you want to take your time. Pausing where you want to pause. This is your practice of unwinding your body and unwinding your mind. So find what you need to do here. One more time. And then you hold high here. And bringing the right hand down, dropping the back knee down, keeping the back toes tucked. Send the hips back, peel the right toes off the mat, hold over that right leg here. Making sure the left hip isn't popping out to the side, drawing it back. Breathing, inhaling, create some length. In your spine and on the exhale, fold a little deeper. Come back forward, toes down on the mat, lifting the back knee up and shifting the weight forward or standing on fingertips or maybe you have blocked under your hands, lifting the left leg high and beginning once more our kicks. Maybe going a little faster. Good times here. And straighten, lifting a little higher. Inhale, exhale, bend the right leg, left knee into the back of the right knee, curl in. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, lowering. Straightening, lowering in. You decide how deep you want to make this bend. Maybe you want to hover in that. Lowering in a little bit, one more time here. And lifting the leg up, crossing it behind the left toes to the ground, bending the knees deeply. Inhale, lifting the leg, bringing it all around to the left, onto the toes, bending the knees. And keep going here from side to side a few times. And lift the leg up behind you. Legs about parallel to the mat. Come onto the fingertips. And here, once more, we try if we can balance our way up into a warrior three here. Varalkadrasana three. My right leg is wobbly here. Bring the hands down. Bring the left foot down to meet the right. Pull it forward, interlacing the non habitual way. Drawing the arms up and overhead. Ah. Hmm. Soften the knees a little bit, rise up all the way to standing. Reaching the arms up and overhead, exhaling, hands to the heart. Once more, placing the left hand on the heart, right hand on top, close your eyes. Let's stand here for a moment. Checking in. Feeling the heart beating. And fluttering the eyes open. 
Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, holding forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, back to high plank. Always vinyasa has a choice. You can come back to downward facing dog while resting in child's pose here if you like. Or flow. Downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, step it through between your hands. And keeping the back knee lifted. We're coming up to high crescent lunge. And here we're interlacing our hands and placing them onto that right thigh. Inhale, we press through the back heel, send the gaze up. Exhale, bend that back knee. Curl in, curl the, tuck the belly button in, tuck the chin in. Inhale, straighten and uncurl. Exhale, bending that back knee, pulling in. I'll keep going here a few times. Once more, always an opportunity for you to pause somewhere and hold it where it feels good. And then reach the arms high, leaning back. Exhale, folding. Over that front leg, bringing the arms back behind you. I'm going back and forth here a few times. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, folding, arms back. Inhale, we lift high. And then here, we hook, we we'll bring our hands down so you can see we're hooking the fingers of each hand, making a bit of a sun overhead. And then drawing, bending over to the right side, opening up the left rib cage. Just a gentle tuck on that left hand. Inhale, straighten back up, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands fold onto the mat. Step the back foot in halfway, both feet are flat on the mat. Inhale. Send the gaze forward, create length in your spine, and on the exhale, fold over that standing leg here. Just holding here a little bit. Every exhalation, an opportunity to fold a little bit deeper. And inhale, lifting up halfway. And then place the hands down, stepping back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. On the exhale, bring it to the front and then crossing it out to the left side in front of your left leg, coming onto the right hand, rolling onto the inner edge of the left leg and just opening up to fall in triangle here. And here you can stay here or once more hugging for that right rib cage. Inhale, open and exhale, close. Opening up, coming back around, reaching the right leg high, and the exhale, slipping it through between your hands, bringing that left heel down, toes slightly facing outward. Inhale, rising up to Virabhadrasana one. And here, just begin, take that chance to set your feet. Widening a little bit, inhaling. And bring the palms to touch on the exhale. Fall to the inside of that right knee. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, the inside of the right knee. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, this time we stay down here. And then we turn over the left shoulder, bending the left knee back to the right knee. Inhale, rising up. A little bit of a dance here to the inside of the right knee. Coming around towards the left. Back to the right. One more time, lifting the arms up. And reach the arms forward. And bring your right hand on your low back. With your left hand, reach for the outside of that left thigh. 
You can stay here, twisting over your right shoulder. If you want to come, you can come deeper into your prayer twist here. Left elbow hooks to the outside of the right knee. Palms come to touch. Create length, reaching through the crown of the head and the tailbone. And we untwist. Reaching the arms up, exhaling. Hands frame the front foot. Stepping back. Your choice of a vinyasa or a rest. Downward facing dog. Inhale, we lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Rising up to high crescent lunge. Interlacing the hands. And placing them down on that left thigh. Inhale, push through that back heel, sending the heart up. Exhale, bend that back knee, curl everything in. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend and curl. Let your breath be your guide. Keep moving here. One more time, and keeping straight, reaching the arms up. Inhale, exhale, reaching forward, and arms back. I'm going through this a few times here. Inhale, rising. Exhale, folding over the front knee, reaching the arms back. One more time. And rising up and once more the fingers hook. And we lean over to the left side, gently tugging on the right arm, breathing into the opening of the right rib cage. And coming back to center, reaching the arms up on the inhale, exhale, hands down, stepping that back foot in halfway, both feet flat on the mat. Inhale, reach the crown of the head forward and send the tailbone back at the same time, keeping length. Let the sternum lead on the exhale as you fold over the front leg. Folding here. Stepping back to downward facing dog from here. Inhale, lifting the left leg. On the exhale, Bringing it through in front of the right leg, sending it out to the right side, finding fallen triangle here on this side. Maybe opening that right arm out to the back. And then bringing it around, hugging the left rib cage. Inhale, open. And exhale, hugging. Open. And hugging. And bringing it back around. Lifting the left leg high. Inhaling. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Bringing the right heel down, toes to the outside. Rising up, Vira Padrasana 1. Take a moment to square your hips, drawing that left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale, on the exhale, palms come to touch, falling to the inside of the left knee. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. And then this time we stay down, turning over the right shoulder, bending into the right knee. And then back around. Rising up. Exhale, drawing down. And find your dance here on this side. You can hover here a little bit. Wherever you want to stay, stay a little bit and just inquire what's going on here. You want to hang out here. And coming back up, Vira Padrasana one. The right, left hand comes to the low back and the right hand finds the outside of that left thigh. Twisting over the left shoulder. And stay here. Or Come and find your prayer twist on this side. And if that 
back foot down doesn't work, you can always spin it to the front and lift the heel up here. Sink a little deeper, maybe into that front knee, reaching through the crown of the head and the tailbone at the same time. Inhale, rising up. Exhaling, framing the front foot and then stepping back down, facing dog, lowering the knees down, bring the knees wide, send the hips back, finding child's pose here for a moment. Now walk the hands all the way over to the right, place the left hand on top of the right, rooting the left hip back, stretching through the left side body. Walk the hands over to the left, right hand on top of the left, right hip grounds down, stretch through the right side body. Arms coming to the front, we inhale, we come back up onto hands and knees, finding one last downward facing dog here. We'll shake the head a little bit, maybe once more, relaxing the lips here. And then soften the knees, stepping the feet between your hands, forward folding. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up all the way. Hands to the heart. So we set the feet wide, toes facing outward. I'm, I'm just facing around so you can see me. Okay, I'm here. Hands to the heart. And then from here, we bend into the knees. We begin to make our way right down into Malasana, garland pose. Maybe sitting on a block at this time or a book, whatever you have nearby. Bring the arms out in front of you, palms facing up, like making an offering. Send the heart up, send the gaze up. Okay, close the eyes, find some stillness once more, the intention to turn inward, unwinding the mind, resting in. Bring the hands to the back, bring the hips to the mat, placing the feet down in front of you. And here we lean into the hands, lifting the legs, the shins are parallel to the mat, feet are flexed. Then we bring the arms out, flexing the hands as well. And then straighten the left leg, lean back, inhale, come back up, exhale, the right leg straightens and you lean back. Just going from side to side here a little bit. Keeping the sternum lifted. I'm to keep the back from rounding here. You can also just dip one foot down and do that. Right? Dip the toe down and then lift down. And then here, maybe we can do it simultaneously with both legs at the same time. And one more time, holding here, and coming back up. And then hug your knees, and send your back really, really long here, reaching through the crown of the head. Breathing, and exhaling. And then let the knees fall out to the side, bring the soles to touch. Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Maybe bringing the heels closer to the seat or further away, just finding out what is right for you. Holding on to the outside of the ankles here. Inhale, draw your heart forward, send the spine long. And then on the exhale, just fold over here for a moment, letting the head hang, relaxing the neck. Inhale, we come back up. And straightening out both legs. And then cross the right foot over the left, so the foot is flat on the floor. The left hand threads through underneath the right knee, holding on to the outside of that right thigh. Right hand is back. Inhale, lift tall and exhale, twist over. 
to my children. Maybe flexing the left foot and coming around, finding a counter twist here. You can stay here if you want to play a little bit. Place that left hand a little more to the side in front of you. Roll onto the left hip. Then the right hand reaches for the outer edge of the right foot. And here you lean forward. You know, from here, press into the right foot. Lift that left hip off the mat and maybe even lifting that left foot off the mat. Balancing here a little bit. Hmm. Mini grasshopper. And lowering back down. And straightening out the right leg, crossing the left of the right, placing the foot down, threading the right hand underneath. Left hand is back. Inhale, reach top. Exhale, twist over the left shoulder. And then turning around, finding the counter twist here. Once more, you can stay here if you played with baby grasshopper on the one side. Maybe you want to do it on this side, placing the right hand out to the side in front of you, rolling onto that right hip. Left hand reaches for the outside of the right foot. Shifting your weight into your right hand, your left foot pressing in, lifting the hip, maybe lifting the foot. They're just playing with lifting and lowering the hip. And lowering down. And both legs come straight here, shaking them out and drawing the feet in onto the mat. Hold on behind your thighs and lower yourself down all the way on the mat. Keep the feet flat on the mat. As you inhale, lift the hips, reach the arms overhead, reaching long. Exhale, lowering the hips, lowering the arms. A little bit of some moving bridges here. Flowing with the breath. Maybe you don't want to go all that high all the way. Just check in. What else your body needs for some unwinding? And lower the hips down all the way. And from here, reach the legs up. Flexing the feet, I'll reach the arms up as well. Just draw some circles, some wrists and ankles here. Switching directions. Bending the knees, reaching with peace fingers for the big toes or for the outer or inner edges of your feet. Just rolling along from side to side. Finding a happy baby here. And hug the knees tight into your chest. Place the feet down onto the mat one more time, walking them a little bit wider. Bring the arms out to the side. And then let your knees drop over to the left. Maybe you're looking over to the right, finding a twist here. For the self assist, you can lift that left foot onto the outside of that right thigh. And a little bit of a deeper twist, a deeper sensation in the low back. Now winding knees back up. And then dropping them over to the right. Maybe the gaze goes out to the left. And maybe that right foot lifts on the outside of that left leg. Through center, feet are flat on the mat. Hugging the knees in one more time, just massaging the low back a little bit, rolling from side to side. And when you're ready, 
and down, reaching the legs out long, the arms alongside the body, finding, taking a moment to set up for your final resting pose. Checking in if you need any blankets or any coverings. Maybe you want to cover your eyes a little bit, just anything you need to do at this point, just to settle in. Take any last movements to just maybe readjust a little bit, getting a little more comfortable here. Feet fall out slightly to the side. Maybe the palms draw open to the ceiling. Reconnecting to your breath, just observing it, the waves of the inhalation and the exhalation. Scan your body from head to toes, relax around the eyes. And give a slight smile to the corner of the eyes. Relax the jaw. Let the shoulders be heavy and sink into the earth. Arms. Hands get heavy, the hips, the legs. Everything's heavy, everything just dissolves into the earth, but all the tension, everything that doesn't belong here just dissolved into the earth. And this notion of enoughness, I am enough. Unwinding, bringing the mind back yourself. a little bit deeper, bring some movement into the legs and your hands, find some circles, maybe reach the arms out overhead, stretching yourself out here, reaching really long, <sighs> returning back to the long, we roll over onto your favorite side, right or left. 
Resting there for a moment, craving your head and your elbow. Acknowledging the practice, acknowledging the community. Cultivate the art of listening to your intuition, your inner voice. This is the guidance of your heart. It's a voice that speaks differently from the one in your head. Cultivate your inner voice. Practice listening to the whispers of your heart. Practice trusting your intuition, what you really feel, what you really know. Practice until that voice is the one that you hear. You can draw yourself up coming to a seat on your mat. You can keep the windows of the eyes closed here. Resting the hands on the legs, maybe palms up or palms down. Gather the hands at the heart. Draw them up to the third eye center on the point between our eyebrows, reminding us peace in our thoughts, and back to the lips, put peace in our words, and back to the heart, put peace in all of our actions. Thank you all for practicing together today. Wishing you a great day.